Wikipedia big star. I'm going to be late. I think the party doesn't start until I arrive. Factory Girl director George Hickenlooper set out to tell the relationship between silk screen artist and underground filmmaker Andy Warhol, whose biggest and brightest star was aspiring artist and model Edie Sedgwick. Andy met Edie in the 60s, the decade of free love. George describes Andy and Edie's short and explosive time together as a love story. As a child of the 60s, uh, certainly, you know, my, I was born in 1965. It was the year Edie met Andy, the year of the factory. So that was kind of novel and cool. Um, and the 60s certainly fascinates me. Um, but ultimately, I was interested in just telling a love story about these two people who are very passionate about each other and, uh, and how, you know, their two worlds collided and ultimately how one felt betrayed by the other. So it, I felt that it was a love story that was timeless, so it didn't, for me it didn't really matter if it was the 60s or, you know, or, or the 1860s. Not only is Factory Girl a great way to experience the swing in 60s, George says it's also time spent being emotionally moved. I want audiences to come and, and just see a really fascinating period of time when when uh, postmodern art was really in, in, in its heyday, and um, this very exciting artist who uh, falls in love with this uh, captivating woman, and uh, how they ultimately kind of screw each other's lives up. Um, I mean, I was really, I'm, I'm really, uh, I really want the audience to be emotionally moved by this film. Talk about emotionally moving. George's next film will be about 9/11, focusing on a CIA agent chasing Mohammed Atta. 24 hours in the life of Edie. One day, one movie. You are so much fun. How come you don't spend more time with us? Because of my lips. Your lips?